Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and today I'm going to be rooting my Motorola Atrix. Uh, I've just recently unlocked it, and I have another video uh, about that that you could check out on how to unlock it. Although, on this particular site that I'm showing you, they do have a really simple, uh, or at least easier, method for uh, unlocking uh, if you're already on Gingerbread. And uh, what you got to do is start at uh, step 15 in order to unlock this. It looks like it's a much more uh, simpler um, set of commands here than what my video had. Um, but hopefully uh, either one will work out for you. So uh, once you've got the uh, bootloader unlocked, I'm going to go ahead and um, use this method here, the root method uh, for a stock AT&T 4.5.91 gingerbread. And uh, my phone's already unlocked and already rooted. Now I'm going to try this uh, method again. Hopefully I don't brick it like my last bricking video that I showed you. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through this method again. Uh, starting with downloading a couple of files here. A, uh, a root image and then the uh, fast boot package. Right, so I'm going to unzip the contents of this stuff. All right, so here is the root image. I'm going to go ahead and unzip it. And then the uh, ADB fast boot package. I guess I'll just throw it all onto the C drive, which is here already that I've already created. On my C drive, I created a folder, right? And I threw all the files that I needed right into that root folder there right so you just I shouldn't have to show you how to do this but you just right click make a new folder call it root and then drag and drop those files right into that folder right turn off your device so my device <clears throat> is turned off and you're gonna wanna hold down the power button and the volume down so hold volume down and the power button right and sorry for the webcam here sucks but when you uh, hold that down uh, it'll say fast boot right so uh, when it says fast boot on the screen there just press the volume up key one time and then it says starting fast boot protocol support so you're in this special mode and then I think we plug in our phone now. I don't know why it doesn't say that. But I got to plug in my phone now. Okay. So now we're going to open up the command prompt. I'm going to type in uh, cmd, then cd backslash enter, and then cd space root. And then it wants us to type fast boot flash pre-install root dot img oops can't copy and paste All right fast boot space flash space pre-install space root dot img so I'll go ahead and press enter And there's some uh, uh, magic going on right here on the screen. And then <clears throat> type in fast boot reboot. Right. Now the phone's going to reboot. All right, so my phone's rebooted. Right? And uh, give it some time to uh, load everything up and whatnot. Um, it's saying that you have to ensure that your phone is in debugging mode and that the USB mode is set to none. So uh, you go to your settings, and again, I apologize for not being able to have a good uh, video of this. So you just have to follow what I'm saying. You go to your settings, you go to applications, then you go to development. Then you go to USB debugging there, make sure that's checked. 
and mine is checked. USB debugging. And then also you can bring down the notifications bar here and uh, go to USB connection. And then mine's on USB mass storage. You do not want that. You want to click on none. And then OK. And now the the memory cards and whatnot is going to mount back to the phone. Right? So back to the uh, command line here. We're going to type in ADB space shell. And then you've got a pound sign there, and you'll type in slash uh, forward slash pre install forward slash D O S U. Then it says uh, you get some error, which is fine, right? And then you're going to do uh, slash bin slash mount space there's deliberate spaces in here space slash system slash bin slash su oh oops sorry about that after system it's space tack or a dash I that's an O lowercase O space remount comma RW that is a weird set of commands there but there we go All right now we do CP space forward slash pre install forward slash SU space forward slash system forward slash bin forward slash su press enter then we do ch mod space six seven five five space forward slash system slash bin slash su enter then uh path try to you know make it exact by using all capitals equals forward slash system slash bin colon dollar sign capital p a t h space PM space install space slash pre install slash capital S U P E R user dot A P K. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I got a failure because uh, Super Years is already installed on my phone. Um, but if it's not installed on your phone already, then it will. Uh, it will go through and hopefully it copies it onto your phone. Right. So then that's it. Press exit. Unplug your phone. You're now rooted. Disclaimer, root whiz and XDA and me is not liable for or responsible for any changes to your phones it's, or uh, any damages to your phone. Right? Mm -hmm. Solely up to the user to root their phone. So with that, um, one of the things, the next video that I want to make is um, installing ROM Manager and Clockwork, uh, Clockwork ROM to uh, install custom ROMs. And there's going to be a couple of methods I'll do uh, is one, installing it through ROM Manager, downloading and installing through ROM Manager, and the, or uh, downloading the ROM off the internet putting it onto your memory card and installing it uh, through that way. That's going to be my next video um, <clears throat> after this uh, with a better camera once I get that um, and higher resolution and whatnot. So, hope you enjoy. Don't forget to comment, rate, uh, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, 
Thanks for watching. John of the Geek out. Oh, let me know if uh, you know this worked for you and whatnot. All right. Thanks for watching. John of the Geek out. Peace.